What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast, week 13 of the winter 2020 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season of anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Stren. Hello, everyone. Next up, we have Brian. Yo! And finally, we have Ku. Well, hello. All right, so um, it's going to be like a short episode this week. We don't really have much to talk about, a lot of which the winter shows already ended last week. Um, the only piece Thank of news God. I just want to mention real quick is that uh, the Japanese voice actor for Master Roshi uh, recently passed away. So, rest in peace, you old man. <laughs> even though, like, I, I didn't even listen to Japanese or the Japanese voices until um, Super. So I, I didn't. Really? Yep, I, I didn't. I didn't watch uh, the original DBZ in Japanese. I watched it in English. Pretty sure most people no. watch it in English. <laughs> See, really, the only voice that like I really like noticed that's a uh, that's you know fairly different is Goku's voice, and then that right. took a while to get used to. Uh, it's definitely way different than the English dub. But, but I mean, by the end, it, I mean by like halfway through, it was normal. I like I'm I honestly I could listen to either Japanese or English now at this point. I would take either or. True. Same. Yeah. Actually. But yeah. I mean, if I'm going to watch the movies in theaters, I'm doing English dub <laughs> all the way. All right, yeah. So that was like the only um, piece of news <laughs> that we had this week. Uh, we're gonna move right straight ahead to My Hero Academia. Um, so, because like we already ended like all the festival stuff like last week, and then we have this week's episode and then next week's episode just prepping us for the next arc. So, um, just well, the first the first thing I want to get out right away is um, if if Stratton had to get a quirk, I nominate that he gets the laundry machine guy's quirk. <laughs> Dude, either that one or uh, God, what was the other one that no, just no. seemed? To... No, you're getting a laundry machine, <laughs> Mr. The but, Okay, guy. fine, fine, man, fine. <laughs> Dude, it's like, is that just like a joke thing? It, it's basically like when I saw that on like the top ten, I'm just thinking like the, the hero, the heroes are so fucked. You, you know, you're fucked <laughs> when you're so number bad. seven is a, <laughs> a washing so machine. Why is he even a thing, bro? Caterpillar yeah. man deserved or centipede man, or whatever, deserved to be on there, not him. Dude, it's got to be like a meme. I don't know. Dude, not even Fat Gum was like top ten. Wait a for, for real. And then that stupid drag lady made ten. I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like she's top ten. All we saw is like you know she turns into a dragon. I mean, it, which is cool, but I mean, I swear there's got to be better quirks that are like more uh, utilized. Because really, all she did was, um, uh, I mean, take care of ads. <laughs> That's well, basically the, what the, one, the one big what guy. Was. Wait, what? It was like that one big guy. One of the bullets was outside. Oh, but they didn't really show much of it. During yeah, the arc. it was kind of uh, not yeah, not so much. Also, you know, we get to see more of Hawks because we already saw we already saw a lot of him in the movie. Yeah, okay. so that was the, the one shocking thing was like he's he's number two. Yeah, I was, <laughs> which was really I, mean, I was surprised when he said that just because like I had a feeling he was gonna be important to the story. Well, I mean, there's been a lot of like top ten heroes that like have been I mean fairly important to the story. But, I mean, I wouldn't have expected him to be that high. I mean, well, it was the same time when I was shocked with Best Genius when it was, like, top, was it three or four at the time? And it's just, like, there's there's no way. This, I think it was, like, guy. he was, like, lower, but then, like, after the the uh, All for One um, arc, he went up higher. Uh, uh, Best Genius, when All Might was still part of the thing, he was fourth. Oh, was he? Okay. When All Might okay, that's where he went up to third. Oh, okay, never mind then. So, you know. Man, just moving up just because somebody retires. Yeah, that's how it works, right? Hey, man. Yeah. I mean, the whole, like, just the whole, because uh, they're doing, like, billboard style, so, like, the whole popularity thing, like, that's the whole reason why Stain, like, was complaining about the Hero Society, because they see, like, treating heroes just like a popularity contest. Yeah. I mean, kind of always is. Yeah. Dude, at least Fat Gum's top 60 on the charts, dude. <laughs> Wait, what number was he? Did, did they? He, no, he didn't. I'm just looking out right now. He's 58. <laughs> That's uh, just making this shit cool. up or what? <laughs> it's okay, dude. At least you don't drop like the wild pussy guess from 32 to 411. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen when one of your members loses their quirk. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh shit! No, they're like useless. Yeah, they're completely they, useless. Yeah, they uh, they definitely did not seem too good. So they can just do administration work now. Um. The, the the episode though, I also thought like, uh, I mean, it made me like Endeavor more. Um, 
just because it's like he's actually like in a way like he's trying to take like the hero role or like the number one role more serious instead of just you know being like a douche like he's been i know it's like yeah it makes him like more likable but he's still a dick you know to his family uh well no he's getting better with it i mean he is actually liking better I mean, he's like man yeah like, he's getting more for you basically traumatized but... your wife and, and, and son so yeah i don't know we'll see if he we'll see if he comes back from that what the fuck yo never mind this never mind as you were keep going <laughs> yeah so it's like it's it's like i don't know it's just just reminds me of just vegeta where it's like like it's just this douchebag, and there's like for some reason like the story is trying like whoa 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 whoa, whoa 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 was you comparing <laughs> Endeavor to Vegeta? I'm actually just I'm tilted now. <laughs> Vegeta uh... is a family man, okay? <laughs> okay. Do yeah. not uh... is actually a family Vegeta, man, Vegeta, bro. Okay. He never he never beat his wife <laughs> ever. Yep. Yeah, he never. If if he did, I mean he. Uh, I mean he Endeavor didn't beat his wife, but like he basically like a meant like like emotionally abused her. That's the same thing, bro. It's you think Vegeta emotionally abused Balma? No. No. He treats her like a queen, bro. If anything, Balma oh. probably emotionally abused Vegeta. Hell yeah. That's why, yeah. I, man. My <laughs> man Vegeta dealing up with that bullshit, dude. Yep. Dude, always having to be number two, just like Endeavor. For real. One day, Vegeta will be number one. Here's to mm. that day, dude. <laughs> yeah. One, one day, day Goku uh, will die. Oh, uh, again. He's died many times. Again. Yeah, really, really, Brian, the only chance that he has of becoming number one is like if you play the mobile game and power up Vegeta and just leave Goku on the bench. <laughs> that's already <laughs> happened. So. Oh, man. That's, that's you. terrible. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm also like kind of, I really never missed the Nomus and I really didn't care to ever see them again. And uh, But I'm guessing we're just I, seeing them here just to basically see, you know, Endeavor. I always, I always forget about them. Like every, every time I show up, I'm like, oh, yeah, they're part of this series. Bro, excuse me. So you think the like Nomus are... Wa- I mean, granted, they are pretty basic, but dude, the yeah. first fight with All Might when they were just yeah, that brawling was like, it out, dude, that was, that was the only one. That was, like, that was like five years ago. But, yeah, That's fine, of- bro. Bring it back. Bring it back. Wait yeah, a minute. Like that, like that I mean, fight was awesome, but like after that, they're, it's like basically like the equivalent of the putties from Power Rangers. I mean, it's just like this pointless, stupid people that just come they're, in there they're, they're coming and they back. just get the shit behind I mean, them. they're coming back now. How because- dare you? <laughs> In what way? Like relating the putties to the to the Noma or Noma to the no, putties? No, just how how dare you? <laughs> Fucking Wait. Power Rangers putties! Oh my! We're goodness. just ruining everyone's childhood today. Uh, Get out of here. Here. Okay, whatever. Wait. Okay, but, never mind. <laughs> do you think? Um, but, uh, because uh, like the preview. Okay, do you think Endeavor is actually gonna struggle against this? Superpowered Nomu, or is he? Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean if, if it's a superpowered Nomu, then probably like multiple quirks. You know, it's yeah, it's probably be OPS fuck because they were like incubating them or some shit when they found them. So yeah, I, I mean, I think the main point of this Nomu is basically just to sh- like have like the public see like what Endeavor can do, and just kind of like solidify himself as number one for now. I kind of there's to, nobody I else near him. I, I kind of had the feeling that in the preview. They're making it like he was gonna struggle, and then like make everyone make yeah, people fine. more nervous that like you know the number one hero was like struggling this much against a Nomu. So no, I, I the only I, the only way I would think if that would happen, like let's just say if Endeavor was just hated by everybody, who's still just a douche, he like wasn't trying to improve himself as like you know being the number one hero, but he's actually taking like those leaps. So or not those leaps, but those he's changing in the for the better. So I actually do think he's just going to destroy it. <laughs> but it might it the... might take a bit, but. Here's the thing, though. Majority of his fans could be the like that little shithead of a kid. That was like, <laughs> that was oh, no, <laughs> you're changing. I don't like you. Yeah. Oh, my like, God, you're too nice. Get you, away from uh, me. Could you imagine how toxic <laughs> his fan base is, dude? Like, oh, my dude, they're God. Just like, they're just like the League of Legends fan base, man. Like, dude. Just imagine, yeah. just imagine being like Tyler 1's yeah. fan base. <laughs> yeah, but, well, yeah, I don't know. Because, well, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, the thing is, like, I mean, if if you like, oh, well, you probably like Tyler. Yeah, for, okay, yeah, I got it, I got it. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was like the whole thing where it's just basically it's just like you know, it's like he tries to be nice, he can't win, and then basically, he's, and then if he's just like a dick, then it's at the same time like he's he can't win that way either because he wants so to be, like he wants not... to be number one, like he wants to be like yeah. higher than All Might, but like he can never be because of his attitude. Oh yeah, 
So yeah, well, well, the thing is, I, I just, I mean, you're never gonna like, or you're never gonna have like, you know, hundred uh, percent, um, you know, like, you know, like being liked or disliked. It's just you're. There's somebody that's always gonna hate you, well, because, no matter um, what. All Might was the symbol of peace, and like, he's never gonna be that symbol. Like, because people, he's just gonna be too much of a dick for people. To, yeah. Like, but I think like with like this whole thing is just like the fight is more to, I guess like put some people at ease, just like knowing that I mean. There's a hero that can actually protect them. Uh, I don't believe Endeavor is just going to get his ass beat. Mm-hmm. I, I think. He, I, I mean, I think it'll be fine. It'll be maybe like a slight struggle, and just kind of like you know, some you know, inner monologue. But I think it'd be fine. Mm-hmm. I think the animation should be nice, just because it's the last episode of the of the of the season. So it should it, it uh, should be uh, a play we'll see. animation. We'll see. Unless uh, they're working on another movie. I mean, I think he's just going to get the Kirishima treatment here, right? How so, what do but you mean? Like he doesn't need it because he's already like big on his own. So, oh, that's because no, I feel like the, like this episode is just gonna be a spotlight of him, maybe a backstory, maybe why he's changing, why he wanted to be number one, why he mm-hmm. couldn't beat All Might. I feel like yeah, again, he kind of gonna... referenced it though. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, no, no, he's just gonna get the Kirishima treatment where they're just gonna like try to highlight him, and then hopefully mm-hmm. he gets more of a fan base after this, I guess. But uh, I don't really see why they're making this last episode for the for this part. It's really where we're, we're like weird place to stop. Yeah, but yeah. you can't at this point. You really can't start a new arc. Like, so you just have to throw in something quick. I mean, That's what it seems like to me. I mean, they could have put in filler too, but I guess they decided to just keep going. With no, the canon. Uh, filler. no, do not filler. filler for last episode. Do not so. taint <laughs> this anime with filler. Okay, okay, just because I had I, enough of this shit with Naruto. Never again. Just because <laughs> it only had one filler doesn't mean it can't handle another. It can. I'm giving you no. max 10 in a lifetime. Okay? In a lifetime. <laughs> like, see, 10, I'm dropping the show instantly. <laughs> I don't know, man. I can almost feel like this last, like, the school arc was in a way a failure because it definitely was not the same as, uh, as like, the, you know, previous seasons where it's just action packed. This one was more of, like, just, it's, it's nice life. It was nice. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't, like, random shit. It's canon. So it's, I think it's fine. True. But yeah. Um, Right now, I don't really got anything else. Yeah, I guess we can save it next week then for just the re- review. That's like, yeah, we have. Well, yeah, yeah. because we we reviewed. Basically... We did... oh my god, Stren. Yeah, so, um, so that's I guess that's gonna be it for uh, my hero academia. Uh, remember, we're next to high to the top. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Uh, Ooh, Brian, Brian, are you caught up? <laughs> Whoa, caught up, baby! It only took me the entire fucking last Wait, season. did you caught up to oh, the season two? Just, just in time. Yeah, I caught up to <laughs> oh, everyone. Oh my god. Like, okay. My man. Do it. All right, all I'm going to say is this. This season is nowhere near as good as any of this. Yeah, season. dude, I'm telling you. <laughs> and this is like. I'm even more disappointed because I waited so long for this new season. Too. Oh yeah, that must suck for fans like you, huh? Get yeah. fucking shafted. <laughs> like, with, it was, it was with you and Sren, be like, yeah, this the animation sucks. It's just not oh, the same. I was like, no, 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 give it a chance, give it a chance. And then like, nope, just yeah. Well, to be fair though, this uh, the last episode like it, it gave me hope for uh for the for the for the future. Uh, I don't know if you because this this by far was like the best episode I think of like this whole season. Like there wasn't ha- there hasn't been like anything like near this with animation quality. I think you ruined it for me because I actually noticed all the bad quality. But uh, dude, even this animation. last episode though, dude, this last episode I actually thought was good. Yeah, no, so, you ruined like, it for me. <laughs> as as for a person that literally binge watched everything, like I could, there's like a few things that like threw me off. So like the first, how many seasons have there been? Is this fourth? Yep. Uh, yeah. Could be the one, two, three. Fucking mint. Holy <laughs> shit! I've never watched a sports anime in my life. This is probably my first one. If all sports anime follow this like sort of like fucking way of writing, holy shit, the, dude! All of them would be the best shit ever. Season one, they end up with a loss. Season two and three, yo. The end of season two, I lost my shit because I legit <laughs> thought they were gonna lose. Season three was legit one fucking game, ten episodes yeah, just yeah. for one game. Yeah, I was like, much. "Yo, if you but they did it this, so well though, they did it so fucking well." I was like, "Holy shit!" 
These guys are awesome. That last point, dude. My boy, he not to boy. With that last point, dude, unintentional as fuck, but still got that dog, baby. What? No, all planned, bro. All planned. All planned. But going from like season, so halfway season three, I think I noticed the coach's voice actor change. That threw me off a little bit. Yeah. And then season four, I was like, whatever, I'm used to it at this point. But season four, like the animation, I could tell the difference, but I sort of got used to it. Yeah. And like for me, like the pacing of four seasons. The fourth season is felt really off. Like it felt like really sporadic stuff. It was super weird. Like the the, the pacing of the fourth season was just super off for me. I don't know what it was. Yeah, it's uh, I don't know. I, I, like me and Koo kind of talked about it like throughout the throughout this uh, the season, where it just felt like a lot of it. I think it was just more of like set up for like nationals. Um, they definitely took a lot of time to just kind of get to know like the characters, even introduce like a lot of the characters that i assume we'll see quite a bit throughout this season yeah i have never seen them throw so much random crap in a in a season than than this season itself like this season had more random shit than all three uh first three seasons combined mm-hmm. like you got backstories for for some the, the managers you got some new characters being introduced in um and it's it's just it feels like just so much filler so much story that you kind of forget you're watching like a, a volleyball anime uh-huh it, it, I didn't like it. Yeah, the way it, they directed it. Yeah, it was it was really like I know like I think it was season two where they just had like a bunch of teams like show up and introduce like they were legit introducing these like new characters and teams and like a quarter to half an episode and it was perfect length. You get like a good amount of background on these teams and people where you actually gave a shit about mm-hmm. who they were so that it made like the matches that much more impactful and shit. But this season was just super fucking off. It's like, dude, I, at first I thought like the fucking white haired dude was like an owl. He's a fucking yeah. seagull, bro. What the fuck is this <laughs> shit? He's, he's a what? He's a, a seagull. seagull? Is he oh, really? that's right. That, he's yeah, a that fucking makes sense. seagull, apparently, because you got the yeah, crows. This... He had a fucking eagle. This was a seagull. Where the fuck did you get a seagull? Dude, <laughs> nobody <laughs> thinks seagulls are cool. What is this yeah. shit? They, they, sh- they should have just kept him as an owl. I mean, I legit thought, like, I still thought he was an owl, but now. Yeah, I was like, oh, dude, owl, seagull? bro? Okay. Now you say seagull, uh, I, I sadly see it. No, no, they they did a uh, like a metaphor as to what he represented. Like uh, after he had that interview, and then he was like, you know, just because you're small doesn't mean that you know you're handicapped. It just means that you have higher to climb or whatever. And right. then he did that stance, that weird ass stance for some reason. And then he not looked at him, and it was a crow compared to a seagull. So, <laughs> which is weird, but oh yeah, oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> That shit was so fucking weird. I was like, what the fuck? This season is definitely a lot more disappointing than the others, but mm. uh, it's probably just setting up for like the rest of Nationals, honestly. Cause... But like I said, like, I mean, the, whole, the, the, the entire season, I was always like, me and Kua, or at least me, I was always just saying like how obvious of like animation dip there was. But then this last episode, I actually thought like, I mean, did anybody else think like this last episode was higher animation than the, basically the entire the entire season? Probably oh, yeah. Together. Again, I used to not care for it or or like be mindful of it, but with with this episode, I saw all the the major flaws that that had like they had with like the character design, the fluid movement of the characters. I I don't know, sorry, I think you ruined it for me, bro. I can't get over these like small <laughs> things, dude. Oh, dude even, but there wasn't any. Like, there wasn't that much of that, of that though. This of this episode, Wait, like the thing trying. that. The thing that bothered me the most was when after the the seagull guy he did his interview and he, he struck this pose to like sound really cool and look badass like his character design like his arms are all scrawny and like misformed and uh like his eyes were a little weird like his eyes is always his eyes are weird, weird, a little but... weird but this was even weirder in, in that pose that 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 one shot it was it was horrible I, I couldn't do it but that was just one shot though but what about like everything else? Everything else, it, it was well. They didn't do that much action in this one either. They just show like small uh, scenes here and there. But yeah, they showed some parts here and there. Yeah. I also found it hilarious that uh, dude, I can't, I keep forgetting the guy's name. The hey, hey, hey guy, where like the whole thing. Bokuto, just, like, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. bro. <laughs> thought his name, Shred. God My bad. Bokuto, where he was basically just like hella depressed just because like he wasn't in the main arena and they're just like having legit. to cover for his ass. 
<laughs> That's a legit reason, bro. Can't get that mad. That guy is the fucking best description of bipolar in the fucking world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, he's literally one of the best characters ever in this fucking show. Yeah. Holy shit. He just wants to be an all-star, bro. Put him in the all-star stage, all right? <laughs> He'll get there. He'll be fine. And then now, like he's like used to the the submarine, and now he'll be in the main arena, and then he'll be depressed and be thinking, "Oh, there's a lot. There's you know too many other teams that are not paying attention to me." Yeah, <laughs> it'll be something else. I don't know, man. This guy, he's not. I like. I don't know how they're gonna make it to the finals or semifinals. He's so inconsistent. But I mean, if he gets rolling, though, he'll, he'll be pretty good. Hey, man, he's he's one of the top aces in the nation for a reason, bro. Isn't there two two more though above him? I think Isn't so. Yeah. Third? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah he's third. third. Yeah. There's two. I think they sh- maybe showed pictures of them. Well, Ushijima but... is like number one. I'm who's Ushi- sure. who's Ushijima? Third year. There's oh, guy right. from the third, three, pretty much. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There's him, and then I don't the know. other guy from the youth camp, the the yellow guy that's always wearing a face mask. I think he was number two. Was he number two? I believe he was number two. Yo, he's God, too I don't remember. Too, bro. Get the fuck out dude, he's, dude, th- yeah, he definitely does not look like the character type to actually be good, be an ace. But then again, I mean, I don't know. There's so many random characters in here. I don't even know anymore. Yeah, I was just about to say that. There's a bunch of just random ass, sh- random ass characters that shouldn't really be doing what they're doing. Yeah. Um, uh, but uh, uh, Brian, did you comment on like the final point of the third season? What was your thoughts on that? Of like the final point of my man Hinata, dude. Yeah. There's so much emotion going into this. I was kind of <laughs> sad that I watched it at work, dude. Because if I was at home, dude, I'd what? be screaming like crazy. You watched the last? I think I watched like nice. episode eight or nine at like work or some shit. But dude, but that dude. last point, holy shit! There's so much emotion because I legit have because when I look at this um uh photo for its season four. I legitimately thought they just went to the next year. <laughs> like, they failed oh, nationals. Really? They regrouped oh. the whole year, and then they did that. So I was like, oh my god, they're gonna fucking lose. All my favorite characters <laughs> are gonna leave. The captain's gonna leave. They're gonna have to nuke out. I was just contemplating my entire life at that point. And then when... They, oh, dude, it was so good. They were grouped together. They got so many blocks in. The blonde hair dude forgot his name. What's his name? Tsukishima? Uh, yeah, Tsukishima. Fuck it. Oh, yeah. He was like, I'm calculating this dude. I took like three, four balls, whoever, however the fuck many it was. Fucking my <laughs> man, Nishioya. Oh, my God. With those insane recoveries. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I've never wanted to play volleyball more in my life until like <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I just want to be on the court, just spiking balls, receiving all of them, dude. Oh, my God. Would you, would you trust... Peter to set you? Sure, man. No. I'll give, I'll give Wait, Peter a ten sets. I don't know no. what Peter if he does. Fails. <laughs> Fuck him, oh dude. god, yeah. Peter, Peter is legit the guy. He's gonna be the guy that's gonna drill you in the back of the head. Not even because like you know it's, it was an accident. It's because like you, you know he just wants to. Either <laughs> we're gonna you? all hate Peter, or Peter's gonna hate all of us. So that's hey, all I'm saying. You know. We'll see. Not like it's anything new. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Fuck, where did... I can't find I, I'm like trying to find the image of like the fourth season, but I can't find it. Um which one? I'm using a, I'm using a different browser. For season four of uh of Haiku. I, I just wanted to see like what Brian meant, but I can't I can't find it. Just um this one. Yeah, because the other it's literally just that. Oh yeah. Because you see the three first years, and you, I I just oh, instantly right, just right, saw right. two yeah. new people I've never seen of in my life. I was like, oh my god. Mm-hmm. Fucking lost, bro. <laughs> After they, all the hard work and training they put in, dude. Hey, man, that's sports. Dude, the, the animation definitely makes it look like it's uh, like, like like something changed. Like there was a year gap or something, or uh, or a time skip. It would like that's just like how much yeah. that like different the animation ended up looking. Um, I don't know. It's what was it got? We got one episode left, and uh, I. I, I think it's just going to end up being to set up the, I mean, set up the rest of nationals. I think it's just going to be, um, I guess then taking it easy. And then um, right before set the second round. Yeah. But they made it sound uh, like, I don't know. I, I think the second round though is going to be, um, it's going to be like a surprise, uh, a surprise where, uh, where it's actually going to be difficult for them. 
they kind of made it sound like where it's just like, oh, like little did we know, like the second round was, you know, like was just, like not easy. Or the, when they were doing like the little back and forth with uh, Nakuma. I don't think they're going to play a match this last episode. It looks like oh, they're, God, some... they're no, they're not. No, I'm just talking about for the future. Oh, OK. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way they're going to play a match with one episode left before uh, you know, the second half. <laughs> so uh, are we all excited that we. That what? That's how you cut off. Ryu's about to get some with that. Uh, oh, dude, that was, that's hilarious. Dude, here. Hell <laughs> yeah. Bro, this guy is like, ooh, ooh, she interested? I got a chance. Oh, my shit, I got a chance. Fucking man. Yeah, uh, still, my favorite part, like, uh, uh, that I thought that was the funniest, was when Nishinoya gets pushed and basically just sees, like, you know, what's going to happen. And he's basically yeah. just saying, like, I can't do anything about this. And I don't it think was just. Got... Yeah, it was just, it was hilarious. That was still, like, the best part, but this was, this was a close, to, this was a, a close second. With uh, Tanaka and him uh, showing his uh, his game. The only <laughs> thing I have issue is, is how are you going to do this on the last episode of the season, bro? I mean, come on. Dude, that's what th- that's what like this fourth season had though. Like my favorite parts was was actually like their back and forth since the animation for like the game or since the actual match play was just awful and just just terrible. Well, that's not what this is known for. <laughs> that's, not, yeah. that's not what it's like. That's not what it's. Four. That's not. Oh my goodness. I don't know. I don't, this is, this I, is a slice of life, sir. This dude, is valuable. The, dude, the part that got me into like high though was there, like back and forth. Like the characters were just hilarious, and then like every, like everything about it was awesome. And then it took me a while to actually have to get used to the uh, to the matches because I just was making fun of it too much and having because of you know with their faces wow. through the nets and stuff. Yeah, so there was a lot of things that took me a while to get used to. I think it's just because like uh you know like knowing actual sports that. You know, that, none of that would fly. Where you play one point, then you talk for like, you know, five, five, ten minutes, and then you play one more point, then you call a timeout and talk longer. This again. Yeah. Mm. No, but I'm saying, but that took me, that took me a while to get used to that. Now I don't care. See, this is how it, Sven ruins your anime with his slice of life. Okay. I, I, I didn't know ruin he ruined it another way. Seasons. <laughs> yeah. I didn't ruin anything for the ruiner. previous season. <laughs> Whatever, guys. I'm done. Honestly, ruining. that point that Shred was brought up for me, binge watch it. I really didn't realize it. <laughs> so. For what? Yeah. Realize what? Like them, like standing there and talking for like minutes of what it would seem like. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I really didn't know it. Me. Well, but I went into like I went into Haikyuu just you know thinking like I wasn't gonna like it that much, and then just make fun of it, and then didn't end up happening. And then I then ended up really liking the show. So. I love that. I just want to play volleyball now. <laughs> I don't hey. suck ass at it, but dude. Uh, not this year. Uh, coronavirus. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a thing. <laughs> I yeah. forgot that was a thing. How can you forget it when you can't go to the gym, Brian? It'll clear. Yeah, it'll clear up and yeah, go somewhere. to the gym and my dreams, David. Okay, <laughs> let a man dream about his games. <laughs> yeah, there'll be a. Uh, I don't know. We'll have maybe a solid month. Of uh, you know, no Corona, no Corona hype, and then uh, and then round be able two, to maybe enjoy volleyball, and then, and then ra- yeah, ra- round two, yep, yep, like right when you start getting into motion, then you're then locked on again. But anyway, I'm done. I'm, uh, I'm yeah, that's nah, I'll, I'll save it for next week. Yeah, to the for next week is a review, even though we kind of gave a review. <laughs> I feel like next week is going to be kind of disappointing. Uh no, I don't think so. Because it's the last episode, like you already kind of get the feeling like it's going to be a setup episode, so it's like low expectations. And I've, I've, and the, this season is always it's it's already like way down there somewhere that I don't I really don't think of it too much. I'm excited about spring season. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. All right, so, so that's gonna be it for high to the top. Uh, we're just gonna move on next to um, Bulfuri. Um, just gonna be cool this time. Um, I guess we should mention too that um, the second season of Fury got announced for some reason. I guess I didn't realize it was that popular to get a second season. Yeah, apparently a lot of people really like this anime enough to get a season two, which blows my mind because there's so many other animes that could have gotten a season two. But um, Dude, that, that's all the time. There's always so many se- like second seasons of stuff you just don't, you just wish that there I wasn't mean, there. When it. For this type of show, it's like I don't imagine the animation would be that much to do, so maybe it's cheaper to make. So maybe they just I want to say, 
I just assume I like, want to say like it's the, the character design. I think the character uh, design is probably what's sold this series. That character design cause... is only popular in Japan, so I guess maybe it's more popular in Japan than I realize. Yeah, I guess it's a new generation or something. But I mean, the story <laughs> isn't amazing. The only thing that's somewhat original about this is the fact that it's this little girl who has no idea what she's doing, but she's like sleeper OP and she's a maxed out defense character. And then even then they don't even play that 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 trope that well. So I I don't I really don't know how this got a season two, to be honest. Um, the only thing I can think of is there are a lot of memes made from her uh, just because of how strong she is. And I think she could be like number like top five most OP character of all time. So, I mean, OK, I don't know. But yeah, I, it's like the last I'll, I'll admit, though, like last episode was actually fairly enjoyable just because it gave you hope that for the next season, like you know how we're always going back and forth about how we wish there was more like team play, more. Uh, mechanics oh, are showing about you mean this like anime? how an actual mmo should be played right so uh it gives you hope for the next season uh because basically in this last episode uh you know wouldn't you know it maple's team won because maple 1v4 like the, the four strongest <laughs> players in wow. the game so balanced thanks game developers. i know right and then, like at the very uh, at the at the very end, they all became friends because the event was over. And then uh, they cut out to the admins. They were like, "Yeah, you know, maybe uh, we should stop trying to nerf Maple. Maybe we should just focus on how cute she is because right now she's the face of the game. Oh my god! Everyone knows who she is. And then at the very end cutscene, they have um, they had that chat log. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Apparently, she has like a giant fan base now, and they're gonna like watch out for her. Or cheer her on. So, uh, yeah, I think it's just the character design that sold people. That's why it's so popular. I'm just gonna say, like, for like the in-game universe, that's some desperate game developers. Like, I guess it's like a small indie team that like they made like a free-to-play MMO. That's I got well, well VR MMO, I guess, like dive tech VMO. But still, I guess they're equivalent like a free-to-play dive tech MMO. But you're so desperate for attention that like, you don't even bounce. You're not even bounce. Got bother to balance the game just for one player. Like, well, you know, I want to say the game is actually fairly balanced, but they don't let any of the other characters find these like crazy hidden quests that Maple found, right? Well, yeah, like like the Cause... Hydra stuff. Like, you don't like how does no one yeah. else like get get the Hydra and like and obtain the skills too? Like, but that, that right? Like, so apparently, like if you everyone's thought, if you... clueless except for her. Like, if you think about that, like, it, the Hydra wouldn't even exist in the first place, or the ability to, to devour it wouldn't even exist in the first place, because it would just been, like, a super boss. Like, yeah, because most of her, like, I think two of her abilities, the most OP ones, she got it by literally biting the boss, and that's how she defeated the boss. <laughs> and, like, I, I don't see how this can make sense. Like, how you get such OP that, abilities this, by literally eating the, the boss to get his fine. abilities? Well, I mean, like... It would make more sense if she was like like a blue mage class because that's what blue mages are for. But like she's a tank, so it doesn't, no, doesn't make you, sense for her class. So don't you put Final Fantasy into this? Don't you dare well, just disgrace saying, its I'm, name? I'm, no, I'm just saying like <laughs> it doesn't make sense because she's a, she's a tank. So like yeah, it doesn't right. make sense for her to gain other abilities by like you know eating. So it's like that's why I keep complaining in the beginning about the the, the game design. Like and that's why I complain that writers these writers don't play games. Or don't understand game design, like. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm still going off of the uh, idea or hope that the writers know what they're doing and everything has <laughs> yeah, just right. been satire. No, like everything has been just satire so far. Oh, no, and they're just if it's satire, it's poorly written satire. I mean, I don't know. That's all that I can think of. But I mean, like I said, character design, like everyone seems to just love this maple character. So I, I guess they're doing something right, you know. It's just like it's just the gimmick, just of like a cute girl just tanking everything. But, but then it's, just, it's just, I don't know. I think it's weird because like if even if you like the gimmick, it just gets ruined because then she becomes OP. So even for that fan base, I just I don't get it. Like, yeah, like the first like the first half of the season, it was fine. Like it was I guess new, refreshing, whatever. And then yeah, after her second or third ability, it just became like. This is getting ridiculous. It's getting stupid. Uh, it's it's not 
it's, it's yeah it's just getting stale and they just push this envelope the whole way through the whole like, season literally like it's just i don't know i just imagine it's just for like just if you need like the most like just ch- if you like just need chill while watching anime and just not think about anything at all i don't know if you're, like if you're just a uh, depressed shut-in who like really needs to take his mind <laughs> off like something you need to like, watch like the most uh... like mind-numbing show David, technically, we're all shut-ins right now. I don't, I don't think it's that bad. I would say if you're a new a new viewer to anime and you like casual, light-hearted stuff, I think this would be the perfect start for you. You can do better. No, I think this would be. There's I think this would be a really though. good introduction to anime. No, because you like... have a cute character, you have introduction to to some kind of like VR MMO aspect uh, of anime. Uh, you see a lot of usual cliches in this anime as well. No, um, but like, eat, like a lot of the slice of life shows that Stratton watch, like I definitely recommend those over like Full Fury. Because has, this has like literally, I think maybe like a slight fan service, but no fan service whatsoever. Stratton's um, a lot of slice whoa, of life. Whoa, whoa, before really you have, say anything, cool. Uh, <laughs> be very careful. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Stratton I'll, has taste. I gotta say. I mean, I mean Whoa, a lot of okay. a lot of the good slice of light don't, they don't have like can stand service. David, I'm trying to I'm trying to protect myself here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, so. I'm saying if you're if you're a new anime and you don't like fan service and you just want something that's like chill, lighthearted, I think like more perfect. fan service, like like more shows like of just like like all girls cast doing all this stuff, like that's more chill. That I mean why does it gotta be all girls? Like I think well, for guys it's fine too. Yeah, David, why can't there be dudes? Well, it's because that's what this show is. So I assume that's like what, like no, I I wanna I, I, like I wanna say like eighty to ninety percent of the fans is probably male. Well, like, I, know, I, know I wanna I'm, say I'm it's saying males. like it's with the the female characters, like there's plenty of other anime shows of like like female characters that just doing other chill stuff that you can relax to that are better than Full Fury. Although to be fair, I think this is probably the first female. OP character that I've seen in a long time. So OP, dude. Something of the, really, something of the criticisms of anime is because like the main character is always weak and he has to hide behind the OP female dude. character. No, but dude. like I'm saying, female OP character. I think this is the first one, or either the first one I've seen in a long time. Dude, what, what about what about what about uh, Asuna? Just you know, over like basically just cheating the system and getting like an OP account. Bro, <laughs> the, dude, Maple will blow like Asuna. Kirito, the whole sword art oh, online okay. cast out of the water. Never mind. That's Apparently. how strong this girl is. Okay, there's memes of her like, like you know how there's this meme about like Sasuke is getting choked out and then Goku's getting choked out. <laughs> I love out. those memes. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. basically like, there's a meme of her like with her with both legs and both arms choking out four OP characters at once, and she's laughing about it on her bed. Like that's how strong this character is. It's, it's ridiculous. To, okay. Uh, never mind them. Like in, in in her standards, right? Like she's not gonna blow up the world, but uh, that's how OP they made her compared to the other characters in this uh, series. Well, shit. Never mind them. Yeah. So, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, like I said, it was funny at first, and I enjoyed it, but it it just got old. Fast, I think so. it just just to me, it's just it's wasted potential. Like it could have a cool gimmick of just being all tank. But so. there's season two, so you never know. <laughs> I don't want to watch. It. I mean, it's like just if they're gonna keep like the like her OP like attack moves, it's like it's, I I don't want I don't want to bother. They're keeping it. They'd have to patch the hell out of that. No, I don't think they're patching. If anything, they're probably just introduce more things or make it more focused on just like comedic effects rather than just a character in itself. So, so is it supposed to be a serious show or is it supposed to be funny? It's supposed funny to be, show. Oh, okay. like not serious. I mean, yeah. yeah. So a joke. Yeah, a joke to the uh, system. I wouldn't like say more, it's actually. It's a more slice of life. With slice of life. It's yeah, most, it's mostly oh, more okay. slice of life than comedy, but yeah, like, yeah, but not serious yeah. at all. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. Uh, I mean, but yeah, that's it. Maybe I'll watch like one or two episodes of season two, but I, I don't really see myself mm-hmm. finishing the second season. But we'll see. I don't know. All right, so that's gonna be it for Bull Fury. Um, so, and then I'm just gonna move on real quick to, um, Inspector, because the last episode, we finally killed a Steel Lady Nanase, and got that arc over with, because it dragged on for so long, and this one, I don't know, this one, this episode, I mean, it was the conclusion of the arc, and, but, like, it actually felt more 
satisfying just because like we finally got to move forward with the story than just like the arc kind of like um revealed more about uh uh Kuro and Kotsuko's like relationship so that was pretty nice too so like this 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 episode like this is what like the arc should have been just like just get on with like the, the the conflict in like two or three episodes and then move on more to the, the relationships like that would have been much more enjoyable for the season but they just ruined it by dragging on that second arc so um and then now it just seems like they're gonna go back to like just more of their their monster of the week formula so i assume like i assume in the manga like well actually they didn't really kill they didn't really like defeat like the 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 antagonist in this arc they just killed off like the monster but not like the person who made the monster so i guess like she'll keep coming back in the future but i hope like i, I hope in the manga like it's just they do more interesting things because yeah just this arc was just i keep saying it but just it dragged on so i guess like overall like i wish i wouldn't recommend the show to to any newcomers just because like and also it's kind of disappointing coming from um Blast of Tempest because I really enjoyed that show because like it really had like nice pacing and I really liked the characters in that especially in, like that the first half like it was a really nice mystery and here it's just like everything's more subtle so it's, it's hard to like enjoy more but then yeah it just gets ruined by dragging on that second arc so um otherwise like it's not, not much really I like, can say much about it so yeah, so overall, just it's it's whatever. It's a what? It's a meh show. So I guess don't. Sounds like it. sounds like it's something to pass on. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Which it just sucks because I was somewhat excited because I read the manga. So and that's, I guess I'll now I'll just stick with the manga. Dude, ruiner. I read the. I read <laughs> no, like wonder, the no wonder you. No wonder you didn't like it. Dude, no, I read, I read the first like five chapters of the manga. Okay, sure, man. <laughs> whatever you say. All right, so that's just my take on. Uh, inspector uh right we're next to uh, just fa- fake in order just the whole series just our oh thoughts god the we're there already yeah oh, that's how <laughs> short this episode is damn because we didn't do um our thoughts last week push it back to this week so yeah i guess I I'll, I'll start since Shren needs more time go for it ah, i got stuff written down i'm ready Shren, but time, you, you, so. you, you go ahead you go ahead i guess i'll, I'll just start because i um because we started this on way back in the fall Forever ago, um, like I, I think it was the first episode. I don't remember. I don't remember if it came out or not. And like, the first episode, we tried. We spent so long. I think like twenty or thirty minutes just explaining forever, fate, like trying to explain the backstory, just fate in general, just like yeah, yeah. So that's uh, that's like that's kind of set up for this series in general. It's like well, you... during during the season, we both realized we really had no clue what we were talking about, <laughs> and we knew very little of the whole thing. <laughs> So we were, we were like, okay, we'll just stick with just uh, with just like recapping the episode of what we saw, and try to like avoid like seeing anything yeah. or it's like seeing anything where we had to like look up online or like mention, uh, like if we had to look up online oh. for stuff with avoiding spoilers in that sense, I guess I don't know. So like, but, but, no, I was just saying like just how long it took for us to ex- to set up by explaining the backstory of fate. That's that, that's pretty <laughs> much like the metaphor for like you gotta watch fate to like to watch this. <laughs> You gotta watch Fate. Like, you gotta look up online. You gotta go to Reddit. Well, it's just like for us, it's like we we watch some like you know Fate and like on the Blade's work and and we don't uh, play Fate, the mobile Fate game Fate Zero either. and like so and even that it was like it was still confusing with all like the the lore stuff. So like yeah, I still stick by just like saying like you might as well just um just uh just watch a YouTube compilation of all the fights. Maybe like the last, yeah. maybe like the last three episodes you can watch just because like it's mostly watch well, the last, the not the last episode but the, the two before that because those are the fights. Yeah, so. if you want to watch fights with good animation and not know what's going on, this is the show for you. Yeah, <laughs> watch those last three episodes. It'll I mean, be fine. I mean, like, um, the uh, the the midpoint section with um the fight with like with uh Leonidas and um Ushiwaku. Those those like. That was the best. Big that's still, that, was that's the like best. the one that basically, you know, that blew up the internet, like blew up Twitter and like Reddit thread. Yeah. And here I was, and here we kept thinking like, okay, they're going to top that. I don't think they ever did. I thought, I still think that was the best episode. Yeah. Well, cause, like, cause like it had like t- just the two servants, like really go all out with their normal phantasms and other attacks. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And like, so, I guess. I'm just, let me try. I'm just trying to bring it back to like just the beginning. Like, I guess even even like yeah, the first half too. Like, it's just the the pacing was really weird because there's just so much of the. It just felt like the mobile game or the or the JRPG like plotline was like like half of it was just filler of like hey we got a quest to do let's do it and then the last half was like oh here's the fight of the episode yep so it's just the, just the pacing and like the storyboarding just felt weird from that that aspect especially since we didn't play the mobile game so like we had I, no clue what was going on. I guess like if you play the mobile game like you would appreciate that it follows that structure but like in an anime format it just feels Doesn't work. Yeah. yeah it's just like it's just I'm just constantly thinking, like, oh, here's the quest of the mobile game instead of, like, naturally falling in a show. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I mean, I just kind of put, like, a couple of, a couple of things down that I just wanted to go over. Animation, we already went over that. It was top-notch. Um, it was a... Uh, another note that I put down is, like, there was a lot of episodes that felt like they were either filler, filler or fetch episodes or very mobile-like. That's... Yeah, where it was, said. yeah, yeah, I know. Well, I'm just kind of going through the whole thing, okay. and then also like another thing where we already talked about. Where I mean, it's just like if you don't know what fate is, fate stay is like. I mean, you're not going to know what the story is. Um, yeah. it's very confusing. I mean, it's even even like we watched everything for fate stay. We still had no clue what was happening because they jump into the seventh singularity out of almost nowhere. Yeah, bring that up. Too. And um, like how yeah. this fucking mobile game made billions of dollars, and yeah, so you can't tell me they don't have the budget to animate yeah. all of it. Like I, 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 I think budget. I remember. Yeah, <laughs> I think I remember like the first episode they tried to like show kind of like what happened until that point, but I mean it was like legit in maybe five minutes. Oh, and then like and it's just like and because you know yeah, like, this, was... what makes it even more sense is that this is the seventh, but then the sixth is gonna be is a movie coming later, so we're just gonna watch it out of order now if you're anime yeah. only. So I really don't know what they're like why they're doing it, why they don't just like kind of start from the beginning because it's just like they have I mean they have enough money I would assume. Yeah. They have enough fame that they could easily have just made this like a whole series where they could just start from the first singularity and just work on but it, I apparently that's, like not the right, huge, that's not the right way. Well, especially with how huge fate is like even like because a lot of times you know the anime is meant to like serve as a promo for like a manga or in this case the mobile game because there's a lot of like mobile game animes out there too. But it's like even like fate stuff in general they sell so much like uh like the fate like the the heavens fields movie they sell out so many tickets at the theaters and then the blu-rays themselves sell a lot of copies so it's like cost like basically a month's salary to buy too it costs a lot yeah but the the, (laughs) the deluxe i mean if you buy like the box set yeah okay you are because it's the whole season but you're you're buying the box but you're buying the box set but, but even how expensive the box set is they sell so many of them like 100k yeah. copies or something so it's yeah, like even fate even fate encore which was just awful it was terrible but it's like you could like even just like make the the anime itself could be could have been profitable so you do, that could have been justification yeah. to like just despite the fact that you made so much money already on a mobile game you could make even more money just like doing all the anime and selling all those blu-rays <laughs> Maybe they'll work their way back. Who knows? Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> They're like, "Hey, Seven Singularity did awesome. Let's just keep watching. Let's just keep you going back backwards. and God. animating all of them." Yeah. And then, and then, like they announced to um, Solomon, which apparently is like you know, the Avengers of Fate, where they, I guess, they're bringing in all the singularities for that final one. And it, yeah, it takes place after, the, like, right after the singularity. Right after. Thing. Right after that's yeah, the only thing that, that they're following the. That's the only thing they're following the timeline with. The so, only thing that's going on. I mean, Another thing that I, I always liked about Fate Stay, or just Fate in general, sorry, David, was just like just like all the characters, just like they're, just what they're what they come up with the character designs, what they do. I I've, I've enjoyed it, even though it has really nothing to do at all with the story or uh, anything like that. It's just it's just cool to see like what they what they come up with. I mean, I always like the the powers and like the magic system, even though it gets it gets confusing at times. But like just the power, like the just the master servant part, and just the servants in general are very cool. I, I like a lot of them. So that's mm. like that's like the main appeal and then like and then just gets stepped up with like Ufotable and now like Cloverworks. So um and then I just wanna mention like a like a nitpick for me personally is just like I just hate how useless Mash was. Like she literally only did one thing like this whole entire time. She just kept yeah. getting her ass beat by everyone. To be yep. fair, <laughs> she is a free character you get from the beginning of the game. <laughs> yeah, but this so. is yeah. this is the seventh singularity. 
She should but, have so much experience already, and she still can't think? do anything. She like, but, never used her own noble phantasm, except until the very end. Yeah, but if, if you know mobile games, David, they always give you the first, you know, the first uh, the character at the beginning yeah, of the game is the that is useless. This is the seventh singularity. Th- th- she's matter. still you, the starting character. Yeah, she's still the starting character. No matter how far you go into the game, that, that character is still useless. <laughs> and also, like... Um, Which is too bad, because MASH is awesome. And, like, because um because her noble phantom is Camelot, so it, so it makes it sound like Camelot was a big moment for MASH just to get, get that as her noble phantasm, and then we only see it once during this whole time. Like, come on, David, that is your fault. Yeah, hey, at least you saw I it. had very low expectations for her from the beginning. <laughs> well, just like I'm just like, yeah, that's no, that's like that's the expectation that like that the show is setting up because like because her her the name of it is Camelot and like Camelot was on before this, so it just made it seem like it was gonna be a big deal. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I never really thought about it. I mean, I was really cool. It was really I was more excited about the other characters than like really what Mash is gonna do. Just because I already knew from just playing like the first or first two singularities, I think, and then just knowing she's a defensive character, she really doesn't do anything flashy. I just didn't really think anything too much about it. I will say that I, I did. I did enjoy Gilgamesh not being a douchebag this time. Yeah, if only. God, it's so awesome just seeing him be awesome and not a just an absolute douche. Too bad it's an alternate timeline. Yeah, I don't know. Sad times, and then like, and then we got to see his like, you know, his servant form at the end, which is cool too. I re- I wish we saw him more in fights though. He was mainly just there, just as the king, and not as like the servant. No, yeah. we got to see a lot more moments. Um, but uh, overall though, I mean, that was kind of just really everything about the every like from the beginning to the end. I would you give it? I think score it, yeah. I'll, For probably, I'll probably give it like an eight, seven. I'll give it an eight. Probably seven point yeah. five to eight. 7.5. Really? Anime list does not complaining. Anime list does not do 7.5, David. I don't know it doesn't. So uh, well, it feels like seven's too low, but like the, the the animations were really cool. Like and just even like not knowing what's going on, just like being part of the fate universe and seeing the fights was really cool. So like it's more enjoyable than like a lot of shows I other shows I watch. It's just yeah, my, it's, my just, whole... it's, it's just that like the fans, the hardcore fans, just hype it up so much, and they're talking about like yeah, it's the best thing ever. So it's just like. So I have to complain against. I have to push back against that. <laughs> like we. That's like that's like the hardcore fan base in really any anime, though. You know. Yeah, but it's more annoying like because like Faye is so big in Japan, so it's like the the heat, the mega we. I don't know, like the, the huge weebs. They're in the really Japanese things. Like they're just there in their own bubble, and like I understand being a, a passionate fan, but like it's so annoying because like they can't recognize they're in their own bubble. No, I don't know. So I, I mean, so I already, that, I already... So all the complaint you hear from me is just is me trying to push back, like and trying to like be the voice of reason for people who didn't play the mobile game. But even with all the complaining, okay. like it's still like the fights are really cool. It's really nicely animated. So I have to yeah. give it credit for that. I mean, for me, I just go into Fate Stay, any kind of Fate Stay anime that they do, and just just go into it knowing I'm not going to know or understand a damn thing. And then I just kind of side that to this, and that, or I just you know put it off to the side, and I just you know like how you said, just watch mainly just watch the animation, and try to follow the story of as much as I possibly can, and then try to enjoy it after that. But Clover Works definitely makes it easier to enjoy. So, but I gave it an eight as well. Yeah, I'm glad. Um, I'm, I'm glad that we have another like studio that can do like fate stuff that's not affordable, so we're not always depending on them. Especially since, like, I, I just feel like Foo Photo is gonna be. I mean, because besides Fate, like they're already doing. Um, they got Demon Slayer. They're besides, they're, they're well, busy. Demon Slayer and Fate. They had like the other series. What it's called? Like, drop it. I forgot. Do, only like, Demon Slayer. I forgot what the other one is called. But they they do other stuff too. So it's like, I feel like they're already gonna be busy in the future with like Demon Slayer, and so like it's nice uh, that we have another Fate studio. Yeah. And then like, and it's also like, props to Cloverworks because they were, they were like the. They're part of like you know A one pictures, and they're they're responsible for like a lot of the action scenes and the previous sword arts. They're a beast. They did awesome. So. That's all I got. Yeah. So that's it for fake. Grand- oh, fake Grand Order. And then I just will say like I don't if Fol- Solomon comes out like like up like we might watch it, but we probably won't discuss it in the podcast because I don't really want to keep up with the story or give our yeah. thoughts on it. 
I mean, you're well, this far into it. You might as well. Nah, we'll okay. see. We'll see with other people, other other fans, other fashion <laughs> fans who are just like but they know us, what they're talking. Who hate about. us right now for shitting on on them? Like they can, they can see, deal with it. We had 21 episodes to understand this uh, singularity. Didn't really understand it too much. This then the, for Solomon, it's gonna be one movie. Oh, There's movie? no way now. Yeah. Okay, Isn't thought, Solomon supposed to be? I thought Solomon was supposed to be a movie. I thought it was supposed to be another series. Uh, so. I've, I've, I'm pretty sure. Cause I, I think I had it on, added it on anime list, and oh. I think it was a movie. Okay, well I didn't know. So. I will, I will Either know way, we're probably soon. not gonna discuss it. So yeah, you we'll can probably go just avoid to it. actual Fate fans and hear their thoughts. Yeah, when I'm talking about Fate's Day, I just keep I'm feeling like sure I'm talking pl- in I'm circles. Sure there's and I... plenty of like Fate Grand Order streamers on Twitch that you can go to. So go go bother them if you want to talk about Fate. Yeah, Camelot it looks like it's gonna be a two part movie. Okay, I thought it was gonna be three. For part. now, at least. I thought I it was gonna be three part, but yeah. Maybe maybe it's three, and, I just, and for some reason, I just have I'm just only following two. I don't know. I'm just guessing. I don't really know. So. Yeah. But anyway, this is probably the last thing we talk about Fate's Day for <laughs> or Fate for a while. Yeah. All right, so that's gonna be it Fuck for up. for Great Hanger, and then that's gonna be it for this week's. I'm pretty sure this will make our shortest episode yet, just because like. Yeah. Next week we have like a was it the we have the season in review for Hero Academia for High Q. We have a few other we have we have a few other people that haven't been on the podcast for a while coming in to discuss those as well. And yeah. then we have also the first week of winter no not winter spring, spring to talk about. So and then Tower Tower of God and probably Glenther and then I don't really know what else is gonna air that first week, but we'll talk about that and yeah. then. But we'll just, just in general, we have a lot of shows we're watching in spring. We'll just, give like a, be a... we'll just give a preview of like um the spring oh, shows, maybe me and the sequels. So it's gonna be long. <laughs> <laughs> if you thought if you thought our previous podcasts were long, this uh, this season's gonna I mean, be long. We usually go two hours anyway, so I think we'll just fit the two hour mark. If we go over, if we no go like hell, two David. and a half hours, my god, I feel bad for people who have to go through. David, it's gonna be an hour by itself for Snafu. <laughs> okay, no, that's just one show. No, you were not gonna allow an cool, hour. For cool. that. If you're gonna, if you're, if you're gonna fight me on Snafu, it's gonna be an hour long. Oh my god, no! <laughs> you remember my prediction from last week or two weeks ago? What was the prediction? I forgot. Man. What's the prediction? Uh, you, you'll you, you'll find out. Okay, I'll go back. I will go back and watch uh, two weeks ago, and, and I'll see. And then I'll call you out next week. I'm not gonna do that. It's too much work. Yeah, I mean, like I said, let's see how the the first few season, uh, episodes go. Because yeah, I don't oh, know, I, I know feel like for the past, about. I know what you're yeah, talking about. like now. the past year or two, same, same, uh, roller coaster of emotions. Every single thing I have hopes up for. So I don't know. Guys, let's just let's just end it. Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> I don't, we, we don't even get into this now. Well, that's for next okay. week or two weeks from now, I guess. For Snafu. Okay, so that's gonna yeah, be it's for gonna us. be yeah, two weeks, a week after that, the week after that. It's gonna be kind of continuous. That's even when the be, season's dead. Yeah. Sorry, Dave. Go no, ahead. I'll say that's gonna be it for this week's episode. <laughs> I want to thank listeners for making it this far. To anyone who actually makes it to the end of the episode, because I don't even know who listens to the end. We just get a lot of bots, so I can't even tell from any of the stats. Hey, man, we have one hater. <laughs> but he didn't stay to the end. I know, so that's, that's all. We need, we need the haters that stick to the end, so shout out if you do. So, yeah, man. And then Talk to we'll... my t- tell me more about my figures, please. <laughs> <laughs> and then I want to thank the panel for joining me this week. Gang, gang, bap, dude. Every time, <laughs> right. anytime, yeah. And then that's gonna be it for this week's episode. We'll see you all next week. Bye, bye. Whoa! Whoa! Peace out, homie. Jeez, bye. bye.